Hey Tubers, B Haynes here. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Okay, so as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be like a little DIY experiment. If you're not familiar with the YouTube acronyms, DIY means do it yourself. So, um, if you watch my channel, then you know I love makeup collection and storage and organization videos. Like, those are my favorite kind of videos to watch. One, because I'm just a makeup junkie and I just love seeing other people stash. But I also like to see how other people store their makeup and how they organize it and keep it cute and display it and keep it neat so it doesn't, like, go bad or go to waste. So, um, yeah. So I thought of an idea recently and so I ordered a couple of things on eBay to try it out and see if I can make it work. So I'm going to try it here on camera. Hopefully it turns out cute and yeah, you guys get some cool ideas. So um, yeah, I didn't really see this on anyone else's channel, but I have seen a couple of videos where people have like really cute brush holders um, to, you know, store their makeup brushes. but. My makeup holders were pretty plain. Sorry if you hear my phone vibrating in the background. But yeah, my makeup brush holders are like pretty plain. Um, I do have like the, you know, candle holders that you like buy at like Target or a dollar store. And now I've switched to just the three wick um, Bath and Body Works candle, like the empty jars. I clean them out and I've been using it. But so they look like this, right? Um, yeah, and if you want to see my makeup collection in storage video, my 2013 one that I just posted like a week ago, then I'll stick it below in the description bar. So what I'm going to do to try to jazz this up some and see um, if you can make it like cute is I'm going to add just a couple of simple things. So all you need for this is just three basic things. You need a glass jar. You don't have to have this particular um, candle holder. You can have any empty jar or glass, you know, that you want to use. Um, I'm going to use these adhesive rhinestone stickers. I ordered these on eBay and I was going to um, make you like an example brush holder and then do the actual brush holder on camera. But I ordered three of these and only one came. So I did email um, or message the seller to say, hey, I ordered three and you put one in the package. So uh, yeah, I'm assuming they'll have to send the other two and they probably just made a mistake So I have to get this right the first time since I only have one to work with for this video And then I also ordered these on eBay as well and they're like um, similar to the Sephora style vase filler But they are little I'm gonna see if I can show you up close. These are little pink rhinestones. They're shaped like diamonds. So I could not tell at all how big these were going to be um, from eBay. It said like 4.5 millimeters and I still, even though I looked at a ruler, I still thought it was going to be bigger. So that's how small it is. Just super duper duper small. And they're about the same size as the actual, that Sephora style base filler. So I thought these would be bigger, but they're not. So I'm going to have to order some more. So these two bags right here are 4,000. There's 2,000 in each one and that's really only going to hold you know it's only going to go in one jar so i definitely have to order some more okay oh and i have to show you one other thing i ordered from ebay Ta -da! isn't this like the most beautiful thing ever i did see this on um gosh i want to get her channel right and i want to say her channel is princess cooch 05 i'll link her below but on her makeup um you know set up on her vanity she has a big like fake diamond and I thought it was so cute hers is clear and I was like oh I want to get one and I want it pink so I looked on eBay and I found one this is actually bigger than I thought it would be they said four inches and may I think maybe they measure four inches this way so I thought it would be smaller than this but it's still really cute and it'll look really cute on top of one of my Muji containers so I just wanted like a pink accent so yeah I'm so happy about that but I will link the eBay sellers below um so you guys if you want to pick up any of these items then you know you could just go on ebay and check them out okay so without further ado we're gonna get into the video okay so first up you have your little jar container do, 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 and you take your um adhesive strip so what i'm gonna do i intended on using three rolls a piece but i don't think that that's obviously gonna work um, and since they didn't send all three of mine, I'm just going to do two rows of two. So all you do is you cut them across just like this. They have to be like pretty gentle so you don't jack it up. So I'm trying to cut through it, but still use like a light hand. Okay. 
and they all come off together in a strip like this so I'm going to take this put it right along the edge of the jar and make sure you stick it on there take your time so it goes on evenly like that and then I'm going to cut these they come in rows of six these ones that I got I'm sure that they have like different versions with more rhinestones or you know like bigger sheets but I couldn't find any in this exact color that I wanted which was um, I think hot pink so I had to go with that so now I'm just gonna match this one up where the last strip ended and go around then I'm gonna use the last strip and I can already tell that this last strip is not gonna go all the way around the jar so um, I'm just going to use up these last couple of rhinestones, but I'll just fill it in when I get my other two sets of strips. And so, looks like that. I see one little space where I messed up, but you can just scoot it up. And luckily it's just adhesive, it's a sticker, it's not like glue and it's not permanent, so you can wiggle it a little bit. So, the edge looks like that. And then this bead filler, these little gemstones, they're going to go inside like that. You got to be careful because <laughs> these will go everywhere. So you just want to cut like a little hole and not rip the top all the way off and just pour them out neatly. And make sure you get all the little extra ones out. And it looks like that. Okay, guys. So here is the finished product. Dun, 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 dun. And yeah, I stuck my eyeshadow brushes or some of my eyeshadow brushes in here. And that's how it looks. So I think it looks way better than the original um empty candle jar and it didn't cost very much to make this at all i think that the um the adhesive strip i believe was about two dollars or two dollars and fifty cents um because the ebay seller they have tons of them it's one of those things you can buy now or you can make a best offer so um i think they have it listed for maybe like 350 and I think I offered like two dollars and fifty cents and they accepted it. so um, yeah that cost 250 and then this bead filler was about four dollars and twenty two cents per pack so there may be people who have it cheaper I saw a lot of other um, sellers that had like the white bead filler or just the Sephora type beads that were not shaped like little diamonds and those were way cheaper so yeah so that's what it looks like so this is the before just a plain recycled three wick candle jar and this is what it looks like after so you guys let me know what you think um yeah i think it was super simple and i think it's a great way to jazz up you know your um makeup brush holder if you you know if you're just using like a regular dollar store candle holder or um a recycled candle jar and it just doesn't look too jazzy it just looks pretty plain and you just want to give it a little bit of bling a little bit of pep so yeah let me know leave some comments below um to let me know if you have another like diy project whether it's like brush holders or anything cute for your makeup area um let me know because i'd love to check it out and maybe i will attempt it you never know so don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you're not already and i will st i'm still holding my summer subscriber giveaway don't forget until july 31st i will leave the details below so you still have time to enter so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out